and the referee for tonight's game, Graham Anui from Papua New Guinea. So what a big night for him, Jack. Well, I'd never seen him before. Oh, geez. Papua New Guinea, huh? <laughs> Unbelievable pressure on that man tonight. He would uh, be tingling from top to toe, I would think. Let's hope he has a good game. Mal Meninga. Back in the colours of green and gold that he's carried so proudly for so many years. And there's the kickoff. Oh, and a mishandle from Gregory, but it goes backwards, so he picks up and runs about 14 metres out before he's dropped. The world team now deep in their 22, desperately trying to get out of there. Touch judges in already. Coming back over to uh, Andy Gregory. Mark Graham, the captain, standing there. Shane Cooper, the 5'8". Mr. Anui saying nothing he wants uh, happening in back play. Well, I'm Mr. Darrell. Maybe it'll come up and replay if we get a shot of it. Well, I must confess I was watching the ball. Mike Cronin down on the sidelines. Uh, did you see anything there? I was watching the ball too, Daryl. Well, we're going to have a little look here on replay as Shelford takes the ball up. Nothing there that we can see. This kick. Well, it's not a difficult one by any means. Mal Meninga lining it up. Sam Bacco already receiving some treatment from the trainer on a finger. That's probably the one he dislocated a few weeks ago and has been having some trouble with it. Mal Meninga moves in. Straight as a die. So Australia lead the rest of the world 2-0. Well, Mr. Graham Anui with a start there uh, of something that happened in back play in the opening seconds of this game. And Australia have gone to a two points to nil lead. Mercer, the Kiwi fullback, kicking off, taken by Eddinghausen inside the 22. Runs into Mike Gregory. Canescu goes on to Pierce. Some good defence that from the world side there mark graham coming in hard here's roach roach taking up unloads the ball very quickly away now it's going out to meninga meninga gets some pace on fends off they're linking up here's mackendale oh some big defense on mackendale and the rest of the world come up with the ball this is iro the young center from new zealand he's unloaded too he's gone on to henderson gill he dances away and they're back in the australian half so some good football there certainly got a good shot on him in that tackle mackendale he spat that ball up quick there yeah, was a big hit on Mackendale. Oh, Mercer man. getting tackled there by Gary Jack. Or was it Langer? No, it was Langer. This is Ellery Hanley. And played just in Australia's half. Gregory dancing around. He got it onto Wallace. Now they get it onto Ward. Out to uh, Gregory. Onto Iroh. And he's a good stepper, this fellow. We saw him in 1985 in the series against Australia and showed a lot of potential then. Since then, he's played a lot of football in uh, England. Look at Gregory looking to link up. He can't. He gets it onto the other Gregory, Mike. He goes backwards. He's wrapped up by Roach. Ward dummy half. But once again, referee has pulled up play. Penalty has gone to the world. Well, that was a big decision for the rest of the world because of their last play, and now they get another. They can recount and get six more plays. Well, it was in the play, the ball being ineffective. Well, kicking out and making uh, some territory. They're midway between the half and the quarter now. Here's Shelford. He's a big man, this Shelford. He ran into a couple of big men there too. Miller very busy in defence already. Are they going to use the blind, I think? 
Gregory shows the ball, gets it on to Iroh, he's got some pace, Iroh, Dean Bell on the outside, Iroh's in, and the rest of the world have gone in, and he's a stepper, oh, he's very fast, Kevin Iroh, New Zealand centre in for the rest of the world. Gary Jack looking a bit despondent, they can't let this fellow run, he's got a lot of class, a lot of pace. Now, see it again as Gregory ran across. He looked for the runners. Now, there it is, the little gap. Iroh almost got ankle tapped, but got through it. Had Dean Bell there for two strong out of Gary Jack's tackle. Pierce chases him over, but Iroh there. That's a good play, this. They fooled me. They set up for the blind side and come open. And he got through there and he slipped out of it. Jack couldn't hang on. Picked up four points. Wally Lewis laying down uh, the Lord of the Australian side, but this Kevin Iroh, we saw in action in New Zealand in 85, he showed a lot of potential then. Gary Mercer, there's the kick, waved away, score remains, rest of the world for Australia 2. Of Broadway's greatest success stories, singular screen sensation. I want it strong. Make it sharp. Take it on the down beat. Ready, and five, six, seven, eight. A chorus line. The movie starring Michael Douglas. Me dance for you. Young aspiring dancers who give their souls for that one break. This is not going to be like other auditions. Can I sit on your lap? Don't dance! The man who can turn their lifelong no. dream into a nightmare. Is that what you really want? woman who needed all he offered. You're special. That we're all special. Damn it, you know what I'm talking about. It's today, goodbye. Said, I can do that. Surprise. Tits and pants. Church bring Santa Maria. Let me dance for you. Line him up, Zach. Line him up. On the line, the music, the magic of Richard Attenborough's A Chorus Line for the first time on television, Sunday, 8.30 on Channel 9. Hell of a day. Have you got a leaking roof? With Rawcrest Roofing Tiles, it's maintenance free and guaranteed against leakage for 50 years. You can cover your roof for just $1,980. Don't wait until it's too late. It is dangerous and damaging, so protect your home. With the experience of hundreds of homes completed, remember the name, RBP Master Builders, an established family business caring for your family. We're approved under the help scheme, which is government-backed, and we're the only ones willing to advertise this price. But it's a limited offer, so ring 35055155 now. We're waiting for your call. Zones! Prices crash in United Auto Sounds annual radiothon. Save generously. Car radios from $5. Crunch gold prices on Pioneer. Boom gold prices on Alpine. And smash gold prices on Voxon. Hundreds of speakers. Half price. Yes, it's below the cost. Hang the expense time at United Auto Sound. 683 Elizabeth Street Store only. Hurry. Sale must end Sunday. Look, I've got to tell you, I'm lost. Ralph. Mm hmm Look at this for you. Electricity, water rates, the dentist. Ralph, we're both working. We've got the money. So where is it? The phone bill. I thought you were going to pay that out of your check account. Well, there's no money left in it. Well, use the other one. I can't touch that for about another month. But it's your money, Ralph. Yes, but then the interest yeah, won't but it's get... still your money. When the state bank launched the state banking system, it put 400,000 Victorians back in control of their money with a high interest account that can even have overdraft. OK. Well, let's pull some out of your interest-bearing deposit. If you're still out of control, come and see us. You've got to wait 90 days for that one. So what were you saying about your money? The state banking system. We never forget. It's your money. The good plays through England. The six plays they had before that were pretty smart. They got the free kick and they run a try. Gregory, clever again, gets it again onto Iro. Well, Mick Cronin, you've seen a lot of centres in your day, but this fellow has had some big raps on him. Well, I've seen him play two times in New Zealand. They're only very impressive. I've seen him play over on TV for Wigan. I think the thing about this, what it has shown that has been their ability to break Australia's defence. It's been apparent in the last two tests that New Zealand's played against Australia under Lowe and Gordon, and it's apparent here again tonight that from set moves they are able to break Australia's line of defence. 
Okay, back to Mercer for the clearing kick. Okay, that's McIndoe with the ball, plays it back to Gary Jack. Penalty again, this time to Australia, the rest of the world offside. Well, the world side pretty keen to attack. Many people thought it was picked as a defensive side, but it really is an attacking side. There's a lot of flair out there, Jack. Well, they're lucky to get away with that. He, he really stuttered with that ball, McIndoe, and it looked like a knock-on, but they got a play and finished up with a free kick. Roach back for Canescu on comes back out Ward coming in from uh, about four or five meters out to wrap him up Canescu dummy half on a Miller back to Lewis Lewis spins too much defense Shelford and, uh, and Hanley Canescu again on to Miller he's the ball player in this pack that's what he's there for Gary Jack beautiful pass Gary Jack he's got Langer there in support Langer board down though, and they're about 15 metres out Australia. Gene Miles on to Miller. Miller with another good pass for Lewis. It goes on to Pierce. Pierce steps out of one. Pierce, look at the defence coming to Henry Henningausen. There, he's there. Australia in the answer. The rest of the world side with another good try. Handling the ball. Good passing from Australia and good backing up. Oh, this is good play. Miller there slips the pass on to Lewis. Quickly on then to Wayne Pierce. Now Pierce gets out of out of the defense. Gets a long cutout pass onto Eddinghausen, and from there he's too fast. Good finish off from Eddinghausen. Well, a good play here probably was from Miller. And Pierce. Miller was in there before that you see it there. And then out to Eddinghausen. But Miller ran right to the defense. He put the break on Pierce. Nettenhausen, he was ready. Pierce here. Now, here it is where he steps out of the defence. And that was Cooper's tackle that he'd beaten. And Eddinghausen over, just 22 years of age, plays for the Cronulla Club. Third test, first try. Money's debut against Great Britain. This year. Eddinghouse has played for the Australian schoolboys in uh, 82 and 83. So he's had plenty of experience and really is one of the young lions of this Australian uh, game of rugby league here. Malmeninga. Moving into the kick. Waved away. The score remains. Australia six, the rest of the world four. In an industry of change, GDB9 Melbourne's goal is always to bring you the most informative and entertaining television in Melbourne. Channel 9 Stand by the roll that table for you three things. Oh, forget your daddy. Oh, Maxi, baby, cut this. How is it, Bell? <laughs> what is that, yours? I've got the new theme for the show, eh? Have you cracked it yet? No, it's not too late to try. Does make me look really beautiful, Margie? Sure, Willie, really, sure. It's a brush, not a wand. Changes in technology mean that every day the world becomes a little smaller. But at GTV9, one thing will never change. Giving our best for Melbourne. Is that how you wanted it, Brian? Yes, that's great, thanks, Nicky. How's that, eh? Do you like that, Mommy? When you give up smoking, some situations may seem a lot harder than others. Pressure at work. At home. Pressure from other people. Oh, and just relaxing. Anticipate the times you feel the need for a cigarette and you're ready to beat it. Call the quit line. You'll gain a lot more than you'll give up. If the last 20 seconds or so didn't cause you to short-circuit, you know how it feels to be a client of ours. 
Ernst and Winnie, accountants, advisors, consultants. Have a good trip. Oh, Mr. Norman, your keys. Thank you. Now, how about some driving directions? And what's the matter with my driving? <laughs> Not this one. This one. Look at this. Hertz new computerized driving directions. At Hertz, we don't just rent cars, we show you where to go. What a great idea. With our easy to follow computerized driving directions. Okay, Hertz, you navigate, I'll drive. Sometimes even the best drivers need directions. Get more than just a car from $35 a day. Hey, everybody, celebrate Stan Cash's Ringwood opening with these celebration specials at all stores. Akai Cordless Remote VHS Video, only $574. Queen Size Health Comfort Mattress and Base, $299. Family Size Tumble Dryers, only $195. AM FM Stereo Radio Cassette Recorder, a crazy $45. Powerful six-piece hair drying set, $15. Famous Heated Curling Brush, only a $499. Three-hour VHS Video Tapes, only $4.50. Hurry for these celebration specials at all Stan Cash stores, but you better be early or you'll miss out. Well, Meninga, I reckon he's going to take the man as the worst kicker in league, and they still persist on using him. Try scorer Eddinghausen takes the settler. Still inside the 22, Australia. This defence pretty keen from the rest side. Roach, good head on tackle there, though. That was Shelford. Comes back to Miller. Miller with another good ball. Gee, throwing some good passes. This is Gene Miles playing in the forwards for Australia tonight in the second row. Made some good ground, Gene Miles. Penalty to Australia. And he's really laying down the law in the, uh, the play the ball situation, Jack. Yeah, it looks a bit like Ram Booker. They haven't got him out from Fiji to do this one, have they? <laughs> Tapia, New Guinea. Tapia. No, that's not far away. Back <laughs> That's Wallace, the hooker. Pretty rugged customer, too. Comes on to Roach. They wrap Roach up. Mark Graham over the top shelf and underneath. Langer gets it on to Lewis. Long cutout pass on to Meninga. On to Mark McGaw. Meninga from dummy half. Slips it to Miller. Well, Miller getting very, very involved and uh, brought down pretty heavily then through Mark Graham. Lewis. And the runners just keep coming for Australia. They're keen to run the ball tonight, Jack. It's been a good game. Good exhibition of football up till now. Well, another penalty there in the rake of the ball. So he, he's saying that... Uh, he's saying he never played it correctly. He threw it back, which he did. So far, he's doing a pretty good job. Well, he's unnoticed, and that's a good rap for a referee. Mercer takes the touch finder for the rest of the world side. Shelford. <laughs> Having trouble getting the big man down, and let me tell you, he is a big boy. Comes back for Ward. Ward almost through a gap, still going, Ward. <laughs> this fellow. Gene Miles, the main tackler. Comes back for Mark Graham. We'd like to uh, welcome our viewers throughout New Zealand tonight. I guess a lot, of, uh, a lot of the plays you're seeing here are very familiar to you. And, of course, Australia will be on your soil at Eden Park for the World Cup final, so there's a lot of interest in this game in New Zealand. We welcome you to our telecast as Shelford takes it up. Well, he waved the re-tackle count there. Kevin Ward inside the 22, but there's been a little knock-on, so we'll have a scrum about uh, 17 mi minutes out, and this is uh, metres out, and this is the first scrum of the match. Here's the pack wage for you, Australia at 5.72, an average of 95.3. The world, 5.66, an average of 94.3. So, nothing in that. Mark Graham. Questioning the, uh, the penalty, which Australia has, and Lewis will find the line. Takes play midway between the quarter and the half. Australia's into the ground. Canescu. Here's Langer, looking for Roach. 
Gene Miles. Mike Gregory, Ellery Hanley, the tacklers. Comes out to Langer. There's Lewis. Cut out pass to Meninga. Comes on to McGaw. Little slip back for Gary Jack. Gregory took him. Ball rolls into touch. He took him pretty high, three. We'll have another look at that. Here it goes now. McGaw now watch the little flick pass to Gary Jack. Bang. Oh, high. No, it was fair. We got him on the shoulder. But high. Shane Cooper getting a, a good ball on there. Nice quick pass on to Mercer. Now they look like they want to run it. Cooper getting it on to Iro. And the referee blows this time the penalty to the rest of the world. Well, he's keeping a pretty tight rein on proceedings, Mick Cronin. Uh, well, he's referee with plenty of confidence there, and I'm impressed with him so far. Yeah, I think he's done a fine job. Well, they don't find touch. Taken by Bacco. Bacco unloads it quickly to Eddinghouse, and then on to Roach. Roach winds up the big fella. They come at him. Cooper underneath. Graham over the top. Kinescu on to Miller. Miller gets it on to Meninga. Too much to vent with... Hanley and Wallace, the hooker. Langer, Lewis. This is Miles. Good step from Miles. Good ball to Gary Jack. He gets through Iro. He comes back. No, that's Kobe. The Papua New Guinea winger that's playing with the North Sydney club. Long pass out from uh, Lewis onto McGaw now. Miller. Oh, and some uh, high work again from Shelford this time. Here's Lewis, he'll kick. And finds the line two, right on the 22. A fine kick from Wally Lewis. This scrum the pack right on the 22, about five metres in from touch. Mr. Graham and Nui from Papua New Guinea, the referee here tonight. Well ball, Gregory, well knock on. Yes, sir. Mr. Nui right on it too, and Gregory knew, wiping the sweat from his hands, has a bit to say. There it is. Langer, That's Lewis. Some good defence though then, right up on the ball, but he says, uh, no sir, we'll have another penalty. Well, he didn't seem to knock that ball on, it seemed to come back on it, Lewis give him a terrible pass. Scrum set centre field, midway between the half and the quarter, the rest of the world's into the ground, Gregory with it. Langer and he having a wrestling match, Pierce is in there too, Hanley, throws a dummy, makes four or five. Wallace gets it onto Shelford. Shelford looked to unload but takes the tackle. Wallace onto Gregory. This is Ward. Wound up Ward. Took a deep. Gets a nice ball onto Gregory. Can he link up Gregory? No one there. Cooper looking for the dummy half spot, but Wallace says it's mine. There's a little chip kick ahead taken by Lewis. That came from Gregory, the halfback. Langer to Miller. Referee once again awarding the penalty to uh, the rest of the world. Well, I can't work that one out. I, he's hunting them back. I don't think he knew who had the football then. Graham Lowe talking to the reserve player there, Freeman. I think that was a New Guinea penalty. <laughs> Ward. Back to Gregory. This is a set move. We watched Graham. Goes on to Mike Gregory. They'll score off that. Now we watched them and Russ Cutters by yesterday putting that move together and they spent one hour working that out.
and it's paid dividends for Graham Lowe. It's worked exactly the way it should have. Now watch this. There's a crisscross scissor movement here. Ward turns it back. Mark Graham is the key to this move. Very is there. Very wide Mark Graham. Slips the ball to Mike Gregory. And there's just no one at home. Well, I think the main contributor there, I've got to say, was Zettenhaus. And he didn't move up. He's got to move up. They dialed his number and there's no one home. And he went in there and come up empty. Gregory picked it up and he's walked that dry in. Gregory from the Warrington Club, played seven tests, age 24. Played with Cronulla back in 1987. Well, Jack, we watched that movement yesterday. They trained for an hour on that, and it's worked perfectly. Well, I got some rewards from it. Gary Mercer trying to convert the try and does so too. So the score now getting away a little bit from Australia. Eight points to six. Ten points to six. Australia now trailing 10 points to 6. The world have the ball again to the try scorer Mike Gregory. He takes the settler. This is Henderson Gill. Bustling run, strong fellow Gill. Scored a magnificent try against Australia in the third test. Here just a couple of weeks ago, this is Andy Gregory getting out of one, trying to link up with uh, Mike Gregory. Still standing, but now he's down, the little man. Wallace on to Shelford. Play midway between the quarter of the half. The rest of the world's into the ground. Back for Mercer. Gary Jack right underneath it. Gary Jack playing the ball back now to McIndoe. Australia in their own half and trailing 10 points to six. Ward very keen to come in over the top. Anyone looks doubtful, Ward is in. That time on Roach, they have a, a little chat. Wally Lewis, and that was a forward pass. Mr. Anui saw that one too. Well, that's the third penalty Australia suffered while in possession. It's not good. Right, this scrum set almost on the halfway line. Oh, it's about nine metres in Australia's end of the ground. Well, Mick, that's a really good start from the rest of the world. Well, it is. They've produced two set plays and scored two tries. That last penalty coming from something you don't see too often in Sydney football, where he's penalised the attacking side for being within the five. Henderson Gill plays it back to Iro. Loses the ball. That'll force a scrum. Three or four metres into the rest of the world's end of the ground. Australia's feed. Langer quickly gets it out to Lewis, but they're up on Lewis pretty quickly. Cooper. They, they weren't up, they were there. They sure were. Malmeninga puts a shoulder down and charges into uh, Mike Gregory. Pinescu. The runners keep coming. McGaw. High action, this guy. He's uh, very difficult to tackle if he can wind up. Coming on to Miller. Miller gets a lovely ball back to Langer. Then it comes out quickly to Lewis, a long floating pass out now for Pierce. Is Gary Jack winding up? Gary Jack, he's got support. McIndoe came in, but good defence then from Dean Bell. Oh, he's hurt McIndoe too, and Bacco says, back off and give him a little there here. <laughs> the big man, protective tonight. Calling out Mark Graham and also Henderson Gilbert Graham, the captain of the side. Calling out some other players here, Dean Bell coming out. It was big defence. Lewis looking on with a lot of interest. Mercer's now being called out as well. He's saying to keep him down. Now here's Gary Jack. Great shot of Jack as he's in full stride. He gets it on to McIndoe. And there's the tackle. And it was from Dean Bell. It was 
Well, if it was any low, would have missed him. Well, Australia now. Ten metres out with a chance. Langer turns it back to Bacco. It goes to Lewis. Set play here. Out for Gary Jack. He tried to unload to McIndoe, but couldn't. Smothering defence. That was from Wallace. Lewis hit hard with some big defence. Kaneshku gets it on to Roach. Roach, Roach, oh, so close, Roach now. Can Australia make anything from this? Comes out to Miller, he gets a pass on to Wayne Pierce. Pierce held up. Miller, which way will he go? Miller running, sets up a beautiful ball. McGaw will play it. Final tackle for Australia, Barnes England. Back out, can he get it down? There are players everywhere. No. Well, Bacco almost did it again. He has scored a try in virtually every representative game this year. Big, strong and plenty tough from there. Sam Bacco, but good defence from the rest of the world. They smothered him. He couldn't get it down. Australia would like to win this one against the feet if they could. Scrum screwing. Gregory. Taken at the base of the scrum, though, by Miller. Over the top. Pierce underneath. Mercer, the fullback, goes for a run. Makes some uh, valuable territory, too, as he takes it about 17 metres out from the line. Gregory. Dancing around on the spot. No one to link up with. He takes the tackle. Wallace is the, uh, the dummy half. Gregory having a bit to say about the tackle. Mercer. Drives it downfield, but Gary Jack is there. Some more big defence again from Dean Bell. And Iro that time as well, and they're uh, they're tackling pretty high. Gary Jack has cop two now. This is Mark McGaw. Canescu. Going nowhere though. One off the uh, the ruck. Too much defence. Lewis calling for the ball. Goes the other way out of Roach. Then on to Pierce. He can't handle it. And Wallace will play it for the world. Straight away a penalty. The rest of the world trying to uh, kick the ball through on the, the play the ball. Mercer will take the, uh, the touch finder from the centre of the field. Right on the halfway line. Not a bad looking kick either. That'll take play down to the 22. So that's valuable distance there. Good kick. Well, they're up to that 22, and the last time they got here, they run a try in. Right, now let's see for a set move. Here's Shelford. He takes it up. Barging run from uh, Adrian Shelford. Wayne Wallace. Out for Ward. They've worked play centre field. Will we see uh, another set move? I think so. They practised them from both sides of the ground yesterday. Mark Graham slips one to Cooper. But Mr. Anui says, no, back here, please. And we'll have a scrum. Oh, gee, he was home. There wasn't much in that. Very close to the money. Gary Jack. Gregory Hanley, the tacklers. Kanescu on to Pierce. Steps, but too much defence. Steps back into it. Remind you of the score, 10-6, the rest of the world leading Australia. Comes on to Langer, on to Gene Miles. They find Eddinghausen with a bit of room. Kovai gets him, it goes now to Langer. Langer stepping, gets one to Lewis. He's wrapped up quickly. Basketball-style pass back to Bacco. They're keeping alive. Roach flow, throws a play to McGaw. Took it beautifully. Comes back to Meninga. Well, this is great stuff from Australia. Throwing it around and backing each other up. And they've taken play midway between the half and the quarter. The world's into the ground. Pierce comes on to Lewis. Back for Gene Miles. Wrapped up quickly this time, though. Mark Graham, the tackler. Roach getting involved, the big fella tonight. Delighted to be back in the green and gold. Kaneshku on to Langer. Langer with a floater. Nobody was waiting for that one. Meninga takes it with a lucky bounce. Hanley takes him. 
The ball goes loose. Henderson Gill's got it. He winds up. Gill down the sideline. Oh, and a one. Look at Gill. He's got some pace. Racing at Gill. Will he get there? Oh, great defense. What a great tackle. And that was so Gary Jack. How many times have we seen him do that this year? Oh, great stuff, Gary Jack. Look at this. Henderson Gill roaring down the touchline. Gary Jack just came from nowhere and slammed him into touch. Well, of all the good things he done here, Gill, he still got out. It's going to be Australia's ball, 9 out of 10. If he stayed in there, the odds of the rest of the world scoring, certainly it'd shrink. Well, Mick Cronin, that was almost a duplicate of the third try in the, uh, or, or try in the third test here just a few weeks ago. Well, it was. He's got, a, he's got amazing pace, it's Henderson, Gill. But I'd probably got to disagree with Jack. I think he's probably been tight to go for the try. And just a great tackle by Jack to put him out of the sideline. It was a great tackle. He pulled one of those off in the state of origin too. That penalty going to Australia for feet across in the scrum. And that kick will take play deep into the world. So I know it's right on the halfway line as they start. Well, Australia back through Gene Miles. Entertaining game of rugby league at the moment as Roach winds up. Slips the ball out for a Pierce. Pierce gets it on to Lewis. Lewis spinning around looking for support. Oh, they've taken play inside the 22. Langer. Out for Miles on to Miller. Here's Gary Jack. He's everywhere tonight. Gary Jack in defence and attack. Gavin Miller gets it on to Langer. Langer darting, dancing, swimming around, throws the pass. The ball goes loose. There's a knock on. We'll have a scrum. Handling errors, Australia four, the world three. Well, Jack, it's been a very entertaining game, both in attack and defence. There's been plenty of action with the ball. A little poor defence. He's not paying much attention to the five yards of the referee. Wait! Especially from those taps, they're inside their five. Australia with the ball now inside the 22 of the world. Back it comes to Lewis. Lewis unlo unlo unloads to uh, Meninga. Back to Lewis again. Here's Pierce. Runs it in deep. 15 metres out. Miller. Centre field. He can go either way. He goes to Roach. There's a good long ball out for Gary Jack. Takes it on the first bounce though, Jack. But he's taken play about five metres out. So Australia with a chance. Langer. Langer. Oh, Langer gets under a high one there. Make it a little fella. Won't worry him as tough as Teak. Lewis. 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 Oh, he's so strong. He's done it again. Well, Lewis, he's so strong. He, he did that against Great Britain at this very ground at that end of the ground. Swivels and turns and just keeps driving with the legs. Watch the man here. He's poetry in motion. Throws the dummy. There's Shelford High. Just spins round underneath. Bang! Slams down. Four for Australia. Well, this is it. Lewis spins in for six points. But their build-up to this try was pretty smart. They had a lot of good football in it. And that's the rewards. Fine captain drive. Gee, wasn't it what? 1981 at Lang Park against France. He made his test debut, age 28. Plays for the Brisbane Broncos, of course. 11 test first, Great Britain, 9 as captain. 24 state of origin games. Test captain since 1984. Only two losses, both uh, to New Zealand. And one to Great Britain. 10 tries in the competition of Sydney this year. A marvellous player. Mal Meninga sets himself in front. Kick to come and it's successful, so it's now 12-10, Australia's way in a tight one. It's as Melbourne is meeting under the clocks. A pizza in Carlton or woolly warm socks. It's as Melbourne as the members of the MCC. The news with Brian on the trots at Mooney Valley. When there's something doing, all this trouble brewing. No matter where it's happening, we're still the one. It's as Melbourne as Brian. Your news be good news. 
excited is this man, Professor, on a motorbike? Oh, heard of that. Anyway, what is this? Chicken. G'day. <laughs> smells great. So the prof says, physics old shot. <laughs> G'day again. So this guy turns around. She's right, mate. And as he gets back on the bike... <laughs> say no to drink driving. If you want to give up smoking, now there is a product that can help you break the habit the easy way. Healthbreak medicated chewing gum. Healthbreak is nicotine free so that you don't become addicted and you don't need a prescription to buy it. You can be helped to stop smoking for good thanks to Healthbreak. Buy Healthbreak now. It's only $9.95 and is available from all leading pharmacies and certain health food outlets. Healthbreak medicated chewing gum will help you break the habit. A candle, pins in the middle, I light both ends. The energy of each flame melts the wax in turn. The shift in the center of gravity rebalances the candle. So too, Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate has a balance of goodness and taste. The glass and a half of full cream dairy milk in every 200 gram block provides substantial nourishment, enjoyment, and that great Cadbury taste. So when you think of chocolate, think of Cadbury. This is another flash commercial from Paul Clayton of Camera Action. Paul has the famous Pentax P30 complete with 35 to 70 mil Astron zoom for just $499. Buy one now and he'll include the fully programmed Achiever Flash. Or, if you're feeling really flash, Camera Action have the Pentax SFX, a new breed of autofocus SLR for just $999. The multi-programmed autofocus camera with the built-in integrated flash. So flash into Camera Action for Pentax price action. The new 1.8 Nissan XR. Is it a Targa? Is it a Coupe? Or is it a Cabrio? Absolutely. The new 1.8 Nissan XR. It's out of the ordinary and out of sight. Nissan Malhau. Building the right cars for Australia. Probably from five to ten yards out in that situation, he's almost unstoppable. Gary Jack. Eddinghausen, dummy half, gets it on to Meninga. A lot of defence, Shane Cooper there, Mark Graham. Kaneshku goes the other side to McGaw. Iroh the main tackler. Comes on to Roach, oh, big don't argue for Roach, he just bumped Ellery Hanley out of the way. <laughs> How tough is Roach when he's on the move? Here's Bacco, the other big man from the Australian pack. Gregory takes him. Australia kicking deep now, Mercer. The New Zealand fullback playing for the world tight team tonight, takes it just outside the 22. Pearson McGaw take him. Iroh scored a try early in the match. Hasn't had many opportunities since, but he's a big stepper. Let's see if we, if we get the chance to see him run again. Shelford. Standing pretty flat that time, Shelford, though. Back for Wallace. Hanley. Hanley tried to kick through, can't. Unloads out of Dean Bell. Dean Bell winds up now and gets a, a ball away to Cooper. He slips it to Ward. Ward goes forward. They've got support coming through. Can't take it. Backo says it's mine. And they take it off Backo. Mr. Nui says no. And there's a bit of back tap, so he marches him 10 metres. Well, he didn't compliment him on his moustache, I suppose, for marching 10. It was a correct decision to start with. His signals are very good. He just indicated a little back chat there. I like the man. We said at the top of the show it'll be a big moment for him, but he's uh, he's held his cool and he's controlled the match very well. Mr. Graham Anui from Papua New Guinea. 
Well, he's a better referee than Meninga is a kicker. Comments from Jack Gibson. Meninga about 25 metres out and only a couple of metres off centre. It's not really a difficult kick. There's no breeze to talk of the night here. Perfect conditions at the Sydney Football Stadium. In the air. And this time waved away, so the score remains 12-10. Australia's favour over the rest of the world. Right, the rest of the world one working out who's just going to kick off. It's Mercer again from the 22. Good long kick, two drives it way downfield. Taken by Meninga. Charges straight into the world's defence. Hanley and Cooper. McIndoe from dummy half. Goes a couple. Looking for the runners, but, uh, well, they're going nowhere. Canescu caught with the ball. Cooper again. Now we get some runners coming through. This is Miller. Waited a long time. This fellow to, to get a green and gold jumper. I'll tell you what, he stopped one then. You know, he's played well since he's been there. Roach getting plenty of attention from Ward, Gregory and Wallace. A little push and shove between the two big men, that's okay. Gene Miles with a good pass on to Gary Jack. He flicks one out the back door. Lewis is there to clean it up. Goes on to Bacco. He goes forward. In they come. Dean Bell over the top. The ball's gone loose. And Iro will play it. On to Henderson Gill. Wrapped up by Bacco. Canescu lends a hand. Wallace a dummy half. Gregory. This is Shelford. Poor bruising run by Shelford. Knocked Roach out of the way, still on his feet. Gets it back to Gregory. Gregory linking up with Ward. Ward spins out a one. The big man still going. Ward, good run and a good ball, but couldn't be taken. So Malmeninga pucks it out of the air. He says, we'll have a run with it. Gene Miles off the deck, gets it back to Eddinghausen. Eddinghausen now stepping. Kovai, though, in there to uh, affect the tackle, along with Ellery Hanley. Well, some good balls, particularly the one from Gene Miles, off the deck as he was going down. Ball loose. Well, Jack, your idea of Gene Miles going to the second row, I mean, he's handling it well tonight, he's handled it fairly well in the club matches. Well, I'm not a great fan of him coming into so I think he's the right position as centre. I think there's quite a number of second rows can play as good as he can at this at this time. Scrum win to the world. Cooper kicking. Australia turning around. There was no one back there. McIndoe gets on it. Iro gets on him. Lewis a dummy half. And that's the line you can see. Just a half a metre out. Lewis driven back though. Well, that's pretty good defence. That's very good defence. Well, Lewis stood up. Once he stood up, they had a chance to get him over that line. It was a mistake. Ellery Hanley was the uh, defender. He came in. There's the drive from Iro. Uh, also, no, it was Mercer. So, Australia will take the drop from underneath the post. Well, this is a crucial time. There's seven seconds to go, so they're in no hurry to get this ball off. Time is out, so Lewis will uh, kick the ball. There's the siren going now. Watch for a kick from uh, Gregory. There it is. He's had a shot from goal. Taken by Lewis. And the referee says, that's it for the first half. Fair decision. Well, Jack, it's been a very entertaining first half. Well, the scores also indicate that. The ball's been... It's changed around a little bit. There's been plenty of footballs from good defence. They certainly run the ball strong. Well, some good attack, Big Crown, an entertaining game. The rest of the world trailing by two. Gavin Miller in the colours of the green and gold. He's waited a long time and playing well tonight. 
And there's the kickoff. Recommence proceedings here. Gary Jack had a strong first half. Runs it back. Oh, and almost through two, and that's another high tackle. That's the third one that's been affected now. And he set him off. Five in the sin bin. And that's Ward coming off. The third time Gary Jack's been hit high tonight. We're giving him five minutes is like giving him three Our Fathers and three Hail Marys. He's entitled to ten there. Where's well, the replay? And it was a mm. high shot. No, hit him. So Kevin Ward is off for five minutes. Sent off by Graham and Nui. Gary Jack back on his feet. He's okay. And there's the touch finder from Australia. So the rest of the world one short for five minutes. Here's Roach now as he winds up almost through the first uh, line of defence. Wallace takes him. Back for Canescu. On to Miller. He gets it on to Bacco. Bacco still going. Charging Bacco. Downfield and a round poaching ball. The big man from Canberra. Oh, he's big and strong and in a mood to run tonight. Out to Lewis. Lewis through one. Australia looking dangerous here with Miller. Now Langer moved out from dummy half. There's a set move coming on. Comes out to Roach. On to Pierce. Here's Meninga. Can he unload? No. Mike Gregory, good defence then, snapped him down, comes back to Langer, out to Lewis. Lewis with a quick pass out to Gary Jack, stepping his way through, so he's OK after that knock. Last tackle. Lewis, on to Miles, out to Rhodes, going to be a try here. Mark McGaw in for Australia. So easy, quick hands, right along the back line, and McGaw's in. The player down will come uh, have a look at that now. It's Roach. Winded, by the way, it was... Uh, oh, it might be the groin, I'm not sure. We'll have a look when we come back from this replay. But here's Miles. Lobs a pass over to Roach. That's where Roach got hit. And McGaw in. Wired out for Australia. Mercer hanging off him, but just shrugs, gets shrugged off. Well, the start of this was early in the piece when Bacco played a little bit of demolition derby with derby but that was the build-up and then it was pure football from there on in yeah just looking at that replay jack it was dean bell that went high on roach and that's the second time and look at mark graham he's saying to him too he just pointed the finger at him that's about the third high tackle from bell tonight well he's had a lot of practice at that he's noted for a high shot man Mal Meninga, only two from four, and he's missed a couple of easy ones. This one's reasonably difficult. Here we go. Ball's in the air, and it's there this time. So, Australia now lead the rest of the world 18 points to 10. Well, that was good. It never touched the sides. Now, here's the Roach incident again. There's the pass going out. We're looking at it from a different angle. Roach unloads the ball. There's Dean Bell very high. And we might add that Australia has scored that try whilst the rest of the world have Kevin Ward in the dressing room for five. Well, I suppose that has helped. 12 against 13 is a little advantage. Right, this scrum pack now inside the 22. About 20 metres out. Gregory has the ball. So, the rest of the world, can they come back? One short at the moment. Gregory, dummy half. Fires one out there for Cooper. It comes back to Gregory along, flatter out to Ellery Hanley. Well, it's gone nowhere. There's no one there. They clean it up through Iro, but they've lost about, uh, well, 20 metres, maybe 25 metres in that. And a good tackle there, Meninga. That was excellent. Shelford gets it away to Gregory. He straightens it up. Gets one on to Henderson Gill. Henderson Gill winds up. Ellery Hanley, beautiful hands, Hanley. Oh! Hanley just pulled it off the ground. Beautiful hands. Got it away. Intercepted, though, and knocked down by Australia. Eddinghausen has it. 
And the referee says play on. Well, they had a few good decisions there, Australia. They were offside, but he never penalised them. This is Gene Miles. He's worrying them tonight. Only making four or five, but bringing two or three players into him. Miller, taken by Hanley. Well, Hanley just handled that ball beautifully, Jack. It wasn't a good pass, but he just got it off the ground. Had there been someone there, there was uh, four points for the begging. Well, you expect that from Hanley. He's one of the greatest players in the league. We'll be playing with the Balmain Club as a guest as it goes out from Meninga to Edding House, and he kicks inside. Back they come for it. Iro stepping oh, and over the top. Came McGoran, hurt himself then. He's holding on to the ribs. Really still holding on too, so that did hurt him. Here's Henderson Gill. He winds up, but again he's bundled into touch. And Don Furness pleased with that. Yes, yeah, so are Australia. Being a second play, he's gone out again. Big slam and Sam dragged him across. But Mark McGaw was holding the ribs, so we'll have a, a close look at him in a moment. Just doing Nui, having a bit of trouble with his scrum as he's trying to pack it on the mark. He's going to bring him back. Ellery Hanley and Langer having a wrestling match for the ball. Everybody wants the ball. Gregory's got it. Well, he's awarded a penalty out of that. Well, he awarded that penalty three or four minutes ago, and no one knew. Players are still trying to pack a scrum. That's right. So, the rest of the world now have their chance inside Australia's half. This is Shelford. But the defence has been on Shelford. He hasn't uh, made a lot of ground tonight. A bit of push and shove between him and Roach. They've been at it all night, those two. Nothing in it. Mark Graham. Comes on to Gregory. That's Michael Gregory. Plays with the Great Britain side. And a busy player with his Australian season. Has not let anybody down that he's played without here, I'll tell you. This is Cooper. Gets it on to Ira. Oh, good tackle, Meninga. Big hit on Meninga. Dragged him down before he could get going. That's a couple of good shots in a row from Meninga. Loose ball. They're losing ground. Mercer. Back for Wallace on to Gregory. Kicks along the ground looking for the line and will find it. Graham Lowe doesn't show a lot of emotion, but I tell you what, if he gets beaten, it eats away at him like a cancer. He hates to lose that man and he loves to beat Australia. And he's done it before. Came out today in the press and said he wanted to rattle Australia's cage and give New Zealand the best chance they could in the World Cup. Australia with the ball now. Langer. On to Miller. Lovely ball again from Pierce. Gee, he's getting some good passes away, Miller. We well, got picked up. Pierce, Pierce picked up eight or ten. Miller no. again gets another ball away, this time to Canescu. Roach winds up. Where's Shelford? <laughs> Kevin Ward waiting to come back on. Out for Gene Miles. Stepping Gene Miles. Takes three with him and makes four or five valuable ones. There's the stopwatch. Kevin Ward anxious to get back. Lewis. And the world bring it back through Mercer. Taken by Langer. Henderson Gill. Swiveling around Gilly, gets it away to Wallace. They get it on to Ellery Hanley. Going nowhere, though. They unload again, this time to Shane Cooper. He gets it out to Iro. Iro's out of one, starts to step. Eddinghausen comes at him. Good play. Dragged him into touch. Look at the look on Ward's face. He's saying, how long does take? Five minutes take. <laughs> Here's the run out now. Kovai getting dragged over into touch. Langer, taken by Gregory. Good competition between these two tonight. Eddinghausen, dummy half, gets it out to Lewis. Lewis with a long floater, out for Meninga. Meninga, running well tonight, slips the ball away, loose on the ground. Who's got it? 
Mark Magor, so he looks okay. He was holding the ribs there for a while, but he looks okay now. Gene Miles, Gene Miles can't link up. Takes the tackle of Andy Gregory. Talk about the big and the small of it. Lewis off Langer. Comes out to Meninga. Here's Magor. Gets it on to Eddinghausen. He flicks one back inside. Loose ball. And Kovai has it. Kevin Ward back on the field. Shelford. Gets it on to Gregory. They've got some space here. Hanley turns it back inside for uh, Iro. Iro out of one, back on his feet. That's the halfway line. They get it on to Gregory. Gregory's out of one, but the support's not there. <laughs> Wayne Wallace on the ward. Back in the action from the moment he's on the paddock. Back for Gregory. Gregory has got Iro. Iro gets one out for Henderson Gill. Stepping. Gary Jacks here. Loose ball. Taken by McIndoe and he's got a little touch by Iro. O's everywhere. Henderson Gill with a giant step back inside. Throws the ball that sort of got half knocked and pushed away. McIndoe took it. Iro took him. Miss tackles. The World 15, Australia 10 at this stage. Miss scrum, about eight metres out and three or four metres in from touch. Having trouble getting down, he's moved them out again. One of the touch judges having a bit to say, but hasn't come in. Australia feed. Scrum with a big push from the rest of the world, and it's gone, well, it's got to be a penalty. Yes, incorrect feed. Slipped that right into the second row as the rest of the world pushed, he fed it. Well, I can't make it out. The goal and all, he had to put it in second row, but still, Ward is suddenly giving the Australia front row of torrid time out there. OK, the tap is taken. It goes on to Gregory. Gregory winds up. Oh, big defence. Big defence there from Miller and Lewis. Slammed him down. Breaking for the ball, Lewis. Here's Gregory, turns it back for Ward. Ward trying to uh, free the arm. But good tackling from the, uh, the green and goals. They hold him down, the ball's gone loose. And the referee said, you're trying to rake it out of his hand, so he gives a, another penalty to the world. Gregory getting it out to Cooper, on to Ellery Hanley. Hanley, can he unload? No. Wrapped up by McGaw and Langer. He gets a pat from Langer for that one. This is Mark Graham. Mark Graham! Oh, beautiful tackle from Gary Jack. Right around the legs and snapped the big man down. Gregory, Gregory gets it out for Hanley. Mike Gregory dances around, floats a loose one back. They've done this a couple of times tonight. This is Kovai. Kovai winding up. Taken, though. About 16 metres out from the line. Henderson Gill gets it onto Iro. Iro strong goes, gets it back to Gill. Gill winds up. Gill, can he straight down there? Yes, going to be close. Can he get it there? No, Gary Jack wrapped him up. Oh, good defence from Gary Jack. Gee, he's been strong tonight, Jack. Just wrapped him up, held him ball and all. Well, he certainly helped. Pretty smart run from Gill to pick up those extra 8-10 to get over the line. Marvellous defence from Gary Jack. He just read the play. He knew he couldn't stop him. He was too strong, so he wrapped him up. Referee saying the scrum, pulling apart. He's uh, given their penalty this time to Australia. Lewis finds the line. Midway between the quarter and the half. Now, Bacco was way deep there, looking to run onto the ball. He's coming to dummy half now. From Miller to Roach. Roach gets thumped to the ground. Ward over the top. Wallace underneath. Short ball to Bacco. Lewis. This is Miller. Miller with a pass out for Gary Jack. He's out of Gregory's tackle. Dancing around and most to Langer. Langer gets one out for uh, Bacco. Bacco goes straight. Gets it back in for Lewis. Chance from Australia. They've got plenty of numbers. The rest of the world are rattled at the moment. The Roach has gone back inside. Slips one off the ground to Pierce. Pierce now gets it 
gets it back for Gene Miles. Miles has got Lewis on the outside. They've got the numbers. McGaw, McGaw, but oh, good defence. They stopped him. Movement break down there with Shane Cooper wrapping up McGaw. Australia throwing it around, entertaining rugby league here. Back for Miller. Miller gets it on to Gary Jack. Jack dances back inside. They're hanging off him. He's out of another one, Gary Jack. Oh, what a game he's having tonight, the Balmain star. Oh, Lewis with an unconventional flick. Comes over Canescu. They get it back out to Mark McGaw. He flows a wild one back. Mallory Hanley gets it and takes the tackle. Well, how about this for rugby league? It's all happening down here. The Sydney Football Stadium tonight's come alive as Mercer gets it up for Gregory. Gregory with a bit of room to move. In the fence comes in and snaps him down. Just over the halfway line and back slams him. Brings trouble again. Oh, good defence and good attack here. This is uh, Henderson Gill. Meninga is off. We'll come back to that in a moment as Gill is uh, dancing around. Let's hope that arm is OK. Taking the uh, wrapping off. Now Meninga is off. We'll look for a replacement in a moment. Des Hasler is on for Australia. OK, this is Iroh. We'll stay with us at the moment. Iroh. Iroh's out of one. He's got support. Oh, the pass has gone loose. Kobe has picked it up. But the referee has seen a knock on and will have a scrum. Mal Meninga looking in that arm and let's hope it is all right. Oh, he's had some dreadful luck with that arm, broken it twice. Enormous padding he's wearing. He's looking pretty upset about it as the uh, the medics work on him and the trainers cutting it away. That's Des Hasler in number 15, the manly player. Well, let's see whether, uh, whether they've reshuffled him. Hasler with the ball now. Lewis, this is Pierce, turns it back for Miller. Miller gets it on to Canescu, and they've worked play out of the danger zone. They've taken play 32 metres out. Again, they throw it around. Gene Miles, bustling run, they try to drag him out. Kovai has pitched the ball, and the uh, referee says play on. Hasler takes him. Wayne Wallace, dummy half. Gets it out for Cooper. Hard onto the ball was Mercer. On to Gregory. This is Ward. Ward winding up. Oh, they come at him hard. He's dangerous when he's on the move, the big man. And again, we welcome our viewers into uh, New Zealand. I guess we'll see a repeat of this sort of football in the World Cup final coming up between Australia and New Zealand. But this time, the penalty has gone to the rest of the world. From Mr Anui, waving Australia back. Well, I think he's going to take a shot at goal. Well, he's... There's a little debate out there what he's going to do with the football. No, he's going for the... What's happening? He's no, going to have a shot. He's going to try. Well, Mick Cronin, a, uh, a frantic pace. It is a frantic pace, but as you said before, it's a sad thing to see Mel Ning come off that arm injury. And hopefully it's not too serious. But as for the game, they are... Both sides are throwing the ball around, and I think it's still anyone's game at the moment. I Mick do think... The, the, the rest of the world missed Kevin Wall when he got sent off there for 10 minutes. The court in time of the game, he gets sent to the send in for 10 minutes. You know, the first minute of the second half. I think they paid the penalty being a man short when Australia come up with a try. Mick, you might, uh, down on the sidelines there, if you can get a chance to see how Meninga's arm is from the medics. Well, I'll see if I can point out. He's just gone in the dressing room. Thank you. This is Mercer. 18 points to 10 to score with his kick to come. But hits the uprights. And into play. Comes back to Gene Miles. He immediately winds up. He's out of one high one from Mark Graham. Loose ball. Cooper's onto it. Not happy with that either. I think he uh, vented his uh, feelings there. Well, Gene's come up with two bad plays. They pulled it off him a minute ago and he lost it a late pass then. Scrum screwing around again. Gary Jack this time up into the back line. Gary Jack almost through. He's got Eddinghausen on the boil. Hasler gets the ball on the bounce. But we'll have another scrum. That's the first play again. They've lost the football. Hello, everybody. Friday night, the world's favourite detective is back. So nice to be you. With double trouble. I just got to get rid of my husband. That man thinks I killed George. Peter Ustinoff, Faye Dunaway, and Faye Dunaway. The murderer is certainly extremely clever. 
Did she do it? Perhaps yes. India, darling. Perhaps no. Brought to you by Bridgestone and Singapore Airlines. Agatha Christie's suspense thriller 13 at dinner. Friday, 8.30 on 9. top drivers clash on the world's fastest and most demanding Grand Prix street circuit. Adelaide comes alive. Adelaide comes alive. The Foster's Australian Grand Prix. Tickets from Vance. For accommodation details, phone this number now. It will carry a voice clear across the country. It's helping business communicate through voice, data, text, images. It's helping businesses grow through telemarketing. It is the telecom network. And the ways you can make it work for your business are growing every day. Adding to your efficiency. Building new markets, new profits. You want to know how the network can work for your bottom line? Then talk to telecom. Clive Built has the biggest range of freestanding and built-in wardrobes in Victoria. From low-cost, front-only styles to fully lined robes. With a wide choice of doors and interior layouts to choose from. All Clive Built wardrobes come with our own 10-year guarantee of quality. See the full range of Clive Built wardrobes and unit furniture at Clive Built's Nunawadding or Noble Park showroom. Or ring this number for a free measure and quote. Because if it's Clive Built, you'd know it's not Jerry Built. If you want to give up smoking, now there is a product that can help you break the habit the easy way. Healthbreak medicated chewing gum. Healthbreak is nicotine free so that you don't become addicted and you don't need a prescription to buy it. You can be helped to stop smoking for good thanks to Healthbreak. Buy Healthbreak now. It's only $9.95 and is available from all leading pharmacies and certain health food outlets. Healthbreak medicated chewing gum will help you break the habit. Andrew Eddinghausen, the young star from Cronulla and one of the great images of rugby league in the Sydney competition, idolised by thousands and thousands of youngsters, and that's how he plays the game too. This is Gregory, linked uh, with the Illawarra Club perhaps in the future, and I think would be uh, welcome to the Sydney competition. He'd add a lot of colour to it, no doubt about that. He's a colourful, busy little player. Gregory, out wide, flicks it back for Hanley. And they're just inside the 22, and they would love to score very soon from here. 19.58 on the clock. Shelford. Shelford, not as effective as I thought tonight. They've really read him pretty well. Every time he's got the ball, they've been onto him. Cooper. This is Ward. Getting a little facial massage from Mr. Roach and Mr. Bacco. Gregory. Long flutter out for Iroh. Good tackle, though, from Mark Magor. Change over. This is Alan McIndoe from the club. We uh, said that perhaps Andy Gregory will link with Illawarra. Gary Jack. Miller to Roach. This is Bacco. Bacco makes another half-break mark. Graham takes him from over the top. Mick Cronin, you've got a word on Mal Meninga. Well, at the moment, it doesn't seem good news. He's just having a shower and then they're sending for x-rays. I think it might be another broken bone. Oh, that's a tragedy. That's right, that is a tragedy. And, Jack, that'll be the third time that arm's gone. Well, it will be a tragedy. Let alone for Canberra, but for himself. It's a great play. Yeah, he made a great comeback to uh, representative and club football this year as Eddinghausen winds up now. Past one, Eddinghausen step, look to try and come back. He's still going. They're letting the kid run. He's got a mile of pace. Well, let's just all keep our fingers crossed that that X-ray is a negative one. Lewis. Miller. Hasler. I suppose that's a bad choice of words. Negative X-ray, isn't it? Roach comes back to Gary Jack. Gregory over the top. A lot of defence from him again tonight. Canescu. This is Miller. Miller linking up with Bacco. Bacco slips one of back again. 
to Miller again. Miller only a few metres out now. Australia with a chance. Last tackle. Kaneshki looking for the options. Goes to Langer. Langer's got McGaw, but wrapped up too quickly. Ellery Hanley has taken the ball for the rest of the world. Henderson Gill comes in a dummy half. He runs from there. Makes three or four. <laughs> you can hear the, the wind come out of his lungs when he got hit then. Mark Graham on to Cooper. Out to Kovai. Kovai, how much pace has he got? He swings it back into Dean Bell. Dean Bell on to Cooper. Cooper looking to link up. He gets it on the Mercer, on the Shelford. Shelford. But uh, the referee has pulled up play. And Mark Graham's having a fair bit to say there too. Well, it was a pretty close call. And the referee wasn't in a good position to make it. That was an advantage to Australia, certainly. Well, here it is again. Yeah, I think he was right on replay. Yeah, he's, uh, he's having a good game. The last 20 seconds or so didn't cause you to short circuit. You know how it feels to be a client of ours. Ernst and Winnie, accountants, advisors, consultants. Hey everybody, celebrate Stan Cash's Ringwood opening with these celebration specials at all stores. Akai cordless remote VHS video, only $574. Queen size health comfort mattress and base, $299. Family size tumble dryers, only $195. AM FM stereo radio cassette recorder, a crazy $45. Powerful six piece hair drying set, $15. Famous heated curling brush, only a $499. Three hour VHS video tapes, only $4.50. Hurry for these celebration specials at all Stan Cash stores, but you better be early or you'll miss out. If I could talk to Van Gogh, I would tell him that when I look at his paintings, I feel as if the world loves me. Take Starry Night, for example. When I look at the sky and think of that painting, I want to shout for joy and be hugged by the universe. Like peeping through the window that has just been cleaned. Everything becomes bright and sparky. So what have you done for me, Vincent? You've given me a whole new perception. A whole new perception. When I carry your paintings inside my head, I see the world through a window cleaned by God. Mr Nui from Papua New Guinea. And that can only be good uh, for, for rugby league. Do we see so much international flavour here in Australia this year? We've had a Frenchman out here that we, uh, we talked, I guess, unkindly about. This man doing a great job tonight. He's now given the penalty to the rest of the world. Wally will argue about that. Well, he's given more scrum penalties than any referee we've seen in the last two years. Mercer will take the touch finder. The score, 18 to 10, Australia's favour. Straight line of defence from Australia. Shelford takes it up. Bounces out of Roach's tackle. It comes back to Gregory. He gets it onto the other. Gregory Andy. He straightens the play up. It goes exactly back to where the first pass started. A 
Ward, they're having trouble with putting him down tonight. Bacco and uh, he and Miller. Wallace gets it under Shelford. He's getting a bit more involved now, Shelford. Which is hard to stop. Twice he's bumped Roach off and Roach a little swing at him there. <laughs> but Shelford put his head down and missed him by a fairing of half a metre. <laughs> Back for Kobay and it's in the touch. Well, they're getting a little ragged here, England. All the same, they've had a lot of possession this half. It's a, uh, well, there's a few England people there. Well, the, the rest of whoever, the rest of the world. Oh, that sounds like it's a big mouthful, that. Eh? There's plenty of Englishmen out there, Jack. Playing in the blue jumpers tonight, and I'll mention that again, all of the colours you see in that jumper are all part of the Rugby League Playing Nations uh, colours. You'll see the New Zealand colours, the French colours, Great Britain colours, Papua New Guinea colours, Australia colours are all there. Finescu on to Roach. That's the 22 line you can see. So Australia working play up into an attacking position. That danger zone again is Lewis. Lewis flicks one out for Pierce. It goes on to Eddinghouse and Gary Jack out wide. Mercer underneath and Dean Bell over the top. Miller on to Des Hasler. Wrapped up quickly by Ellery Hanley. Gene Miles dummy half to Langer. Langer had one for McGaw, but it bounced out of his hands. Scrambly play at the moment. We'll have a scrum that'll be set inside the 22, about 17 metres out from the line. Well, Mick, the rest of the world side really haven't uh, looked composed since Ward went off. No, they haven't. They've got a bit sloppy this half. I really think they've got to start getting back to how they were playing the game early. But by the look of it, I think they're going to put on a couple of replacements. Whether, whether, that'll, whether that'll be enough to get them home, I don't think so. Replacements now. Sammy Stewart, who really cut Australia apart at Lang Park last year, if you can remember, plays with the Newcastle club. He's the captain of that club. And I was surprised he was in the starting lineup. He's a really good player, and that's our Frenchman, Mr. Pouget. Okay, Cooper with a little chip over the top. McIndoe takes it well. Jean-Philippe Pouget, the Frenchman, who was uh, found playing in Townsville. He's played three tests for uh, the French. He had a sore knee at training yesterday, but really wanted to play in this game tonight. He gets his chance in a moment. Gary Jack straightens the play up. Gary Jack comes back for McIndoe. Well, Miller started that play too with a good spin pass. Finescu on the Langer. Out for Sam Bacco. Ward and Bacco. Ward slams him down. The big men meet like mating mooses. Miller. Miller. Still going, Miller. Oh, so close, Miller. Swivelling all the time. Looking on, load. He's a clever player. Trying to the reef the ball out of the hands, Mr. Anui says. So the penalty goes to Australia. So they get another chance. Close to the line, Lewis. They'll spin it out wide. No, they turn around through Miles. Now he, he gets it back to Lewis. That's a move you see in the Broncos uh, games quite often, Jack. Lewis That's trailing G Miles. They had the right people there to execute it. Chance here. Pass out wide. Mark the ball in. Yes. Well, just quick hands. Another handball pass along the line. And Mark McGaw is in. Try number two for Mark McGaw. And that was just a matter of stretching it out wide. Quick hands. Pierce getting a good pass away and gets the congrats from uh, Mark McGaw. See it here. Now it was Roach. He got it onto Hasler. Hasler got it onto Pierce. Sucked in Kovai. Gets it out to Mark McGaw. No one there. Well, again, Pierce contributed here. He was the last man. Got a couple of really good balls away. One on that occasion and one for a previous, a previous try. Lewis is going to take the kick now that Meninga is off. 
And uh, we've seen Lewis kicking for the Broncos lately, and it hasn't all been that flash. <laughs> he doesn't like the job. Well, he likes most things about this game, but kicking's not really his go. Let's see how he goes. It's a difficult one, too. It's on the junction, uh, eight metres in from touch on the 22. Two from six last Saturday. So not the best of records, well. Here he goes. Let's see what he can do with it. Well, it's in the air, but it's way off beam. Waved away, so the score remains 22 points to Australia, the rest of the world 10. 8.30 tonight. There he is, boys. The Rodeo comes to town. <laughs> but the last laugh is on him. Any way you look at it, this is murder. But why? I'd love to see you in action. Christy McNichol guest stars in an action-packed episode of Murder, She Wrote. Keep hitting dead ends. 8.30 tonight. Got to be some way to get rid of Jennings. Not serious. Followed by a deadly serious case for Jake and the Fat Man. Tell me the truth! Exciting drama tonight on 9. If you want to give up smoking, now there is a product that can help you break the habit the easy way. Healthbreak medicated chewing gum. Healthbreak is nicotine free so that you don't become addicted and you don't need a prescription to buy it. You can be helped to stop smoking for good thanks to Healthbreak. Buy Healthbreak now. It's only $9.95 and is available from all leading pharmacies and certain health food outlets. Healthbreak medicated chewing gum will help you break the habit. Metal, metal for Melbourne, metal. where you'll discover the hottest heavy metal music available, the latest from overseas, and also the latest local heavy metal recordings. Metal, metal for Melbourne, the place for heavy metal. Shop 12, 181 Flinders Street, Melbourne, just down from the gas and fuel. Rawcrest Roofing Tiles is maintenance free and guaranteed against leakage for 50 years. You can cover your roof for just $1980. Don't wait until it's too late, it is dangerous and damaging, so protect your home. With the experience of hundreds of homes completed, remember the name, RBP Master Builders, an established family business caring for your family. We're approved under the HELP scheme, which is government backed, and we're the only ones willing to advertise this price. But it's a limited offer, so ring 35051555 now. We're waiting for your call. Okay, we've sorted all that out. This is Bursa. Good tackle from Langer. Wally Fullett and Smith warming up, waiting to come on. Gregory on for uh, Stewart. 22 points to 10. 12 10 at half time. This is Shelford. And played just into Australia's half. Gregory. Trying to link up. Well, Cooper got it, but uh, decided to take the tackle. Ward wasn't very happy then, shaking his head, so give it to me and dance around with it. Stewart on to Mark Graham. Flicks one out for Pouget. First touch of the ball. And it's a changeover. Pierce played big game tonight. Pierce gets it on to Gene Miles. He's worried him too. Sam Stewart over the top. Wallace underneath. Canescu comes out to Miller on to Bacco. 
<laughs> Lanny Gregory gets a little look. Shelford cops one in the eye. There's Hasler. Gets a quick ball out for Lewis. Lewis on quickly, but here's a chance now with Gene Miles out wide. He took it off Eddinghausen. Lewis on for Miller. Graham Lowe would not be very happy about the scoreline at 22-10. Lewis with a little chip. Mercer chasing. Takes it. Mercer inside the in goal area. They'll take him. So a good kick from Lewis. They'll get it back. That was an excellent play. That was a kick like that had to come from a football. Mick, well, Fullerton Smith's trying to get on the field. Can you see who uh, he might replace? Well, I thought he's actually waving at Gavin Miller, but I don't know whether Gavin might have been looking the other way. I'm not too sure. No one seems to want to come off. Well, Gavin's having a fair bit to say out there, so we'll have to wait and see. Eddinghausen. Sam Stewart. Well, he, he want to side Gavin shortly. There's only six minutes to go. McGaw. McIndoe makes a couple. Mark Graham takes him. Canescu on to Roach. Mark Graham again in defence. Sam Stewart tackling everything since he's been on the field. Miller on to Langer. Langer almost out of one, gets a ball away though. Comes on to Pierce. And they're only 10 metres out of Australia. A chance here, Lewis. Looking for Bacco. Bacco going. They swarm onto him, Shelford. Who else is there? Ward. Ellery Hanley is there. Dangerous than there, Bacco. Well, it's another changeover. So Wallace will play it back to Pouget. He goes from a run from there and only makes a couple. Now it comes to Andy. Gregory flicks one back inside for Dean Bell. Can't be taken. Lewis gets onto it. Flicks it back for Hasler. Hasler runs into Pouget. Sam Bacco and Shelford come together. Well, well finally, uh, <laughs> he still can't get on. Bullock and Smith, hands on the hips and looking pretty frustrated about it all. He's taking the place of Gavin Miller. Gene Miles gets it on to Pierce. They're close, Australia. Look at Langer, trying to Lang up to, to uh, link up. Ball goes loose, comes back to Roach. He straightens it up. Lobs one over the top. McIndoe takes it on the first bounce. Oh, tries to uh, put it over but can't. But just manages to stay in, in play. And that's something the rest of the world side had trouble with doing. Well, there's Gavin Miller off. And he's at a fine game, Jack. He has. But Australia going to win this game. The rest of the universe, whatever they are, they need a couple of sixes. <laughs> the rest of the world. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Mr. Anui here having a bit of trouble with the scrum. He's uh, barking all sorts of orders out. Ward packing down now. Bacco can't even get in and doesn't get in. Henderson Gill's got the ball. Lewis has got him. McGaw's over the top. Gregory out for Cooper. This is Mercer. Bullock and Smith in for his first tackle. Cooper on to Dean Bell. He steps and makes uh, probably the, the best yardage they've made in about eight tackles. Shelford. Gregory. Well, it was there for Ward at look forward. And it was. Well, we got a penalty in Australia in that play. Ruled Gregory offside. Lewis is kicking for touch. 
Here's Usland Jack. Well, you'll make your own mind up there. Kaneshku. Gets it away for Gene Miles. A big defence slams him down. That was Ward. Kaneshku. Pullet and Smith. Australia. Ever so close, but having trouble getting across the line as Langer now flicks it out for Lewis. Lewis links up with Gary Jack. He gets it back on the run around. Decides to go back inside. Back for Gary Jack again. Now it comes to Des Hasler. Hasler taken by Iro, but gets it away to Lewis. Lewis still going. Flicks one back for Roach. And Roach goes down with it just inside the 22. Bullet and Smith, a dummy half, gets it on to Gene Miles. Miles straights it up and goes four or five. Kaneshku, Lewis, the little chip, the stab. Hasler's there. Andy Gregory. Henderson Gill. And a penalty has uh, been given. Steve Roach, uh, the offender, marching back with a look of dismay on his face. But this is Iro. After that first try, really hasn't had the, the chance to get out on the open ground, Iro. We haven't seen him step. The YG showed it in that first early minutes of the first half. Sammy Stewart turns it back to Ward. Ward straightens up. Fullett and Smith over the top, though, and manages to bring uh, the big fella down. Pouget dummy half. Comes back for Dean Bell. Gregory tries to kick off the ground. Offside there was Kineski, but it's, uh, well, it's all over here. No one heard the siren go. The crowd has got up. And Australia have defeated the rest of the world. 22 points to 10 are here at the Sydney Football Stadium. The referee, Mr. Graham and Newey, I think, would feel well pleased with what he's done tonight. Graham Lowe. The look tells the, uh, the story. I don't have to go on with that. Mark Graham coming off. Veteran Kiwi player. And Pat Lindsay is down on the sideline with Wally Lewis. Wally, you must be delighted. That's a